Don't expect a very warm welcome in Flor de Oro. It's the heart of Unidad corruption and it's a province that has the highest difficulty rating. It's the Unidad headquarters and that is why it has 5 skulls. Today we will take a closer look on how you can take down General Barrow, the commander of Unidad. Nobody knows where he is, so you will first have to track him down. The best place to start is at the data center at Unidad's MOB Jaguar. This place is underground because it needs cooling. In other words, expect a lot of resistance once you get there. Before we make our way to the data center, let's take a closer look at our primary target, General Barrow. Major General Barrow is a patriot. He runs Unidad the Bolivian military police force from main operating base Jaguar in Flor de Oro. When Santa Blanca first arrived in Bolivia, they went to war with Unidad. Innocent civilians got caught in the crossfire. The death toll was tremendous. Faro had seen a lot of death in his life and was desperate to bring peace back to his country. So he brokered a backroom deal between El Sueño and the Bolivian government. Unidad agreed to look the other way and let Santa Blanca run their business. In exchange, the cartel promised to keep their killings to a minimum. Obviously, the results have been a mixed bag. The relationship between Santa Blanca and Unidad is tense. Now that Bolivia has become a full-fledged narco state, I believe that he is starting to regret his decision. Major General Barro is either one of our most dangerous enemies or our greatest ally. There's only one way to find out which. The main entrance to the data center is guarded by two guys, and that's it. So take them out and make your way down the stairs. Over here you will have to take down a few more guards, but nothing that you can't handle. Go up the stairs and you will find the main data server. Hack it and upload the files. This will take about two minutes, and as you could have guessed, you and your buddies will have to defend this position until the hack is complete. The enemy will send in wave after wave. A good tip is to stick to the high ground. Use cover and explosives and the two minutes will be over before you know it. Once the hack is complete, finish off the remaining guys and leave the data center. Once you do this, you will have completed this mission. The data that you hacked contained some valuable intel. Unfortunately, you still don't know the location of the general, but you got the next best thing. The general locked up his former helper, because he knew a little bit too much. So it might be a good idea to free this guy and I'm sure that he will help you out in one way or the other. This guy is being held at a Unidad stockade. Now this place is heavily guarded, so a stealthy approach is the best option. A matter of fact, pretty much everything that you do in this province is best done by using stealth. The easiest point of entry is from the southeast. Not only does this place give you a great view of the entire stockade, it also provides you with a strategic point of entry. Before you enter the compound, make sure that you kill as many snipers as you can, it will make your life a lot easier. Once you silently killed all the snipers, make your way west and turn back once you reach the first bunker. Once you walk past the first watchtower, you will find a few crates and boxes that will allow you to easily enter the stockade. Turn left, enter the watchtower and kill every single enemy that you can see from here. Exit the watchtower and head north. There is a gate that leads to the parking lot and to the side entrance of the prison. Just head southwest and enter the door underneath the stairs. There is only one guard inside the prison, so it should be pretty easy to kill him. You could release every single guy who is in there, but that would take way too long. Start in the southwest corner and open the third cell on the left. That will be your guy. He is the only one who is wearing a green sweater. This guy isn't exactly a big help, but he will point you in the direction of the general's daughter, which is the next best thing, right? On your way out, make sure that you steal the military vehicle that is standing there. It is one of the most powerful vehicles in the game, so you might as well use it. The handling isn't exactly great, but the firepower definitely is. You don't need it to get to the general's daughter, but it will come in handy when you actually find the general. His daughter isn't hiding or anything like that. I found her when she was sleeping on her bed. No guards, no nothing. Just walk in there and interrogate her. The girl will make a phone call to set up a meeting with her father, the general. But as you can expect, you'll be walking straight into an ambush. So come prepared. As soon as you get there, the general will make a run for it. You will get into an armored truck and he will send a lot of Unidad soldiers your way. Most of them will be driving in trucks that carry heavy firepower and sometimes he will send two helicopters after you. That is why that military vehicle that you stole at the stockade can come in handy. But in case you showed up empty handed, I would suggest that you get into the AMV, so that you can deal with all the enemies. At some point, the general will get out of the armored truck, but don't be too quick to leave your own vehicle. First, make sure that you kill all enemies, because they can almost instantly kill you. Once it is clear, stow them in your vehicle and get the hell out of there. Drop him off at the extraction point and you will see the following cutscene. 
I was in La Paz trying to speak to the president when you had my daughter call me. I have known for some time that our relationship with Santa Blanca is untainable, but I could not convince the bureaucrats there of our situation. They wouldn't let you speak with the president. No. And I fear that I revealed my intentions to men and women who are already in the pocket of sueño. But today, corruption is the Bolivian way of life. I've been trading too many shots with Unidad to feel any sympathy, sir. I had wanted order when I made peace with Santa Blanca. But it is an order fueled by corruption and violence against our citizens. That is my responsibility, and I will help make it right. It's an uphill battle. But if you don't want any more violence for Bolivia, for your daughter, we have to shut this down proper. I may have a few loyal officers who are willing to see things my way. Also, I have a friend, a colonel in the regular army. He may be able to help. But all of this is going to take time. Then let's start now. And that's it. Mission accomplished. You captured General Bago. And now you have access to La Plaga, one of four underbosses who stand between you and El Sueño. By the way guys, the YouTube likes and shares are very helpful to me. If you think that this video is worthy, would you mind taking a moment to like this video and to share it with all your buddies. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching and I will see you in Wildlands.